All right, guys, per your request, I'm going to take apart this Jiropow impact wrench and look into why it might have failed when we did drop it on the third time. As you guys remember, I went through a video saying how long would a $100 Amazon impact wrench last? We did some testing on some of its performance, and it actually did quite well for what it is. So unfortunately it did fail on a drop test on the third time. The battery still works. We proved that in the video. Uh, with an impact wrench, drop tests are important because this tool is impacting quite often and there's a lot of vibration. So we're gonna go through this, hopefully find exactly what happened. And if you see something wrong that I didn't, please call me out in the comments. I always appreciate it. Let's get to it. As you guys know, I am not an expert as to what happens and what goes on on the inside of these tools. The goal here is just to see if something simple failed. Many of you guys talked about the contacts on the inside breaking, and that would make a lot of sense because the battery still works, but the tool died. And I, I can see that just something very simple, either a circuit board or a wire that would come loose would be a very simple explanation. Unfortunately, either way, uh, it, for an impact wrench, it sucks because it actually did work kind of well for what we had going. And unfortunately, once something like that fails due to impacts or due to something on the ground, that tells us quite a bit about this impact wrench that maybe it's not gonna last long term. Now, what we did find out since is that this tool is compatible with the Makita batteries. So some of you guys were asking if it could be used with Makitas and it can. I think that's, I think that's disappointing to hear in my mind. I mean, that's more people copying, that's more things happening that just aren't cool in my book. And this shows some of my inexperience in taking this stuff apart. Be right back. I was hoping it was just gonna be a simple clamshell to open up in the back and we could see if there was a wire that failed close to the battery pack which is more than likely. If you didn't watch the first video, it would be a good time to. I mean, there was a lot of things that this tool did for its price point that was pretty amazing. Also, for its price point, it did break pretty early in the testing, which We've got some comments that were, you know, wow, that was pretty abusive. And realistically, guys, I don't think dropping an impact wrench from three feet is abusive at all. When you're trying to put something together like this and impacting and working on a lift and things fall off tires, I mean, it's not uncommon to have a 35 inch tire these days. So for you guys who know a little bit about the tool stuff, this is greased well on the inside. It looks like there's a nylon bushing up front, probably for wear forward and backwards. It's greased, two pin. I don't know a whole bunch about that. So I'm gonna leave that to you guys. I'm hoping, oh, we got two more. All right, since it was electrical and not mechanical, if we take a look in here, these solder connections look good going to the battery and this is potted. So everything here in this large metal, maybe heat sink or whatever, Looks great. Obviously it could be something that I can't see or it could be 
Wow. Pretty amazing considering that's an LED light. I, I'm I'm just very surprised because we lost complete power to this. This is obviously pressed on the motor bearing in the back. There's nothing that I can see here that actually will say, hey, what happened? We can slide this in, push the buttons, and still no LED. Nothing on the, uh, the bottom works at all. Battery obviously still is a go. This is kind of what we expected here was to see one of these solder joints be gone. It is interesting to me how we do have a third connection up here or what appeared to be a third connection for this, but realistically they're only using the positive and negative leads. For a guy like me who knows nothing about this, I am surprised to see this circuit board have a metal plate on the bottom and be completely what I would call potted. Now that could be the wrong thing, but it is covered. Uh, you would think that this would actually help keep everything together, even through that impacting. So that's a huge deal. There's not much here that can go wrong. And for what happened in that fall, obviously something did in it. I was hoping it was going to be something simple that everybody would go, okay, there it is. And uh, I'd be able to say, anything and everything to you guys and be like, hey, it was simple, but in looking at this, it still won't work. And I guess you guys can see the inside of it a little bit as to what it has on the tool and what it doesn't, but it's too bad it doesn't work. I was uh, really hoping to see something here that we could put back together and maybe continue a test. We're not going to. And that wouldn't matter because the battery should show or the we should have something show as far as power levels here in LED lights and we don't. Sorry, I can't find anything. Not my thing as far as realistically taking something apart and saying, hey, this is what it is. But I can tell you from what's here, everything looks to be connected and actually covered in some sort of covering. There's, there looks to be nothing broke. It can't be on the motor because you would still have some sort of power light down here on the electronics. So whatever broke had to be inside the circuit board, I'm assuming because we would have been able to see power. Even if the switch didn't work, or if we had power but the motor lead didn't work, either way, it's interesting to look at if you haven't seen the inside of a impact wrench. Obviously you have lots of little gears and things that make this work. It's a planetary system in this, obviously, but I'm not the guy to go through this. There are other channels that do this way more better, you know, way better than I could even imagine. I don't know this stuff. Again, interesting to look at. Hope it didn't disappoint you. I didn't find the failure, uh, but it did allow you to see what's on the inside of this tool. And again, for a hundred bucks, if you never dropped it and continued to use it for a while, or if it didn't fall apart via the impacting and didn't stop working, it might've been something cool to find. Either way, I do appreciate you guys' support. Thanks for your time. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give me a like in this video. And as always, I love to hear your comments. If you see something that I didn't see here, leave the comments below. Thanks guys, have a great day.